Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. yeah -ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him.
better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. It's some sort of special work order. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, belleza. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back.
service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos.
I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. A dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A dead one. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. It's a deflated balloon. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. That's not what balloon. That's not what balloons are for. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? Bang! Ah, popped another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripe, Zeva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy!
What is that horrible? New shoes. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripe saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> <laughs> of us all. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. <laughs> You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one.
You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Look out below.
Server's down again. What else is new? compelling. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Terrible thing like this. It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Well, I got a split. Yeah. Oh! Not again! You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. 
Buenos días. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Domino's door is locked. Hey, Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! 
get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Hey, anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Mm, good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Hey, guard! As my little Count of Monte Cristo. No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. Get me out of here. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. The DOD runs a crooked game. And I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well... You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? 
What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da!
This is empty. this in his mouth. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job, Hector. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. I'm gonna try to guess his password. And it's not Mr. D either. So much for Dami. Arrogant fraud doesn't work. I was scared it might be Eva. That's how Domino meant it to be used.
pigeons, it's Robert Frost! Hey! Run, you pigeons, it's Robert Frost! Watch it! Run, you pigeon! Run, you pigeons! It's Robert Frost! Run, you... Run, you pigeons! It's Robert Frost! Run, you pigeons! You lousy little ledge pickers! You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Gladys. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Agent Calavera, and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. 
We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. <laughs>